And we've certainly got a fine opening match here from these two players. Just 12 minutes gone and neither man looking particularly in trouble. You can see that audacious eyeballing that the Ukrainian, Roman Solovka, is giving Yuri Uzliam of Russia on the right there. But Uzliam is putting up a brilliant defence. Very tight, very solid. <laughs> If you've just joined us, you're watching the 43rd World Stare Out Championship Finals. <laughs> David Joyce is with me as usual in the commentary box. Solovka looks impenetrable, doesn't he, David? Good afternoon, John. Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, he looks like a man in form. And I, and I have to say, John, when I saw that this was the opening fixture of this year's championships, I thought, great. Because you can, you can see them there. They're both concentrating to a fantastic standard. Wonderful staring. And we talk about the ability of the top-level players to stare, and by golly, both these men are working hard out there. Pressure on these players is enormous. One blink, and it's all over. <laughs> of course, whenever these two meet, we're reminded of that unforgettable struggle in the final of 1968, the Amateur Championship. Yes. The game lasted nine hours before right. Uzliam <laughs> wore out Solovka. We can see a snatch of that. Great. And what a super match we've been treated to here by these two Eastern Bloc players. I remember the last time they met was during the Cuban Missile Crisis. And it was such an absorbing game that it certainly took my mind off that confrontation between the superpowers. <laughs> and I really don't think I can recall such tension. The atmosphere here, absolutely electric. Marvellous stamina from these two players. Oh, my gosh! Solovka has blinked! It's all over! What a terrific performance from the Russian! Absolutely outstanding! <laughs> Lovely to hear Raymond Sledge's commentary there, too. The voice of stare out for so many years. I think all that speculation in the papers has made Solovka even more determined to prove his detractors wrong. He's worked very hard to train for this championship. Uh, you've been watching him in training, David. And we can now show you at home some of the footage of that training. Here he is. This is uh, Solovka actually in training here. And uh, <laughs> my goodness me, what a, what a sight. Um, you know, he, he is a master, and there we see a master at work. He, um, he uses the metronome there to keep the rhythm. And uh, <laughs> he just stares at himself for ten hours every day. And um, I suppose if you were getting £10,000 for, uh, for exhibition matches, as, uh, as he does, um, you'd train that hard as well. Well, here we are. It's Ted Stead against Sid Hartha. If you've just joined us, you're watching the 43rd World Stare Out Championship Finals. Hartha there, the uh, grasshopper. Good to see him back, David. Yes, well, I mean, he, he did have that terrible incident with that stray eyelash in the semi-final of the, uh, the Hungarian Invitation event in, uh, in Budapest. Um, to have that happen, uh, an eyelash digging into the retina two minutes into the game, I mean... Amazingly, he, he still won. It was a great display of staring. Yes, uh, Les Spencer, his opponent, just didn't know what to do. Let's just look at uh, Ted, the head, Stead. Wayward boy of American stair mastery, they say. He's quite a boy. Stead knocking on Hartha's door, but can he get in? Mm, well, you need very big knockers for that, John. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <coughs> well, Stead... Stead... <laughs> um, <coughs> yes, Stead... <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a this is a massive um, <laughs> uh, this is a massive test for tasted <laughs> spot of of um, hilarity breaking in the commentary box. <laughs> I really do apologise. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a delicately poised match we have here. The first four hours are really zipped by. <laughs> so far, both masters haven't given an inch. 
but there's a keen anticipation that there's an attack lurking somewhere in the pipeline. But which player would it come from? It's absolutely neck and neck here, and that makes for a fantastic viewing. Oh, good game, this one. Oh, Richard Gere among the uh, crowd today. <laughs> Now this, as they say, is the big one. Benny Kayang against Leonard Hultz. If you've just joined us, you're watching the 43rd World Stare-Out Championship Finals. <laughs> Leonard Hultz, he's such a natural talent and incredible to think he won't be 18 until May. And this uh, massive crowd which has turned out today, well, the majority, you have to say, are here to see the youngster from Chesterfield. Yes, uh, you've got to feel slightly sorry for the German. Um, I would say almost everyone here wants to see Leonard win and go on to the final. And he has his lucky panda, Dee Dee, with him today. And lots of girls in the crowd with their little pandas too. I read somewhere that his fan club is now 250,000 members strong. And you get a free panda when you join. I mean, he's a, he's, he's, a, he's a hero to the young, isn't he? He's the sort of man that uh, will get young people looking at staring and saying, yes, I want to stare. Let's just take a closer look, David, at the uh, man who's had a street named after him in his native yes. uh, Santiago, Doesn't Benny Kayang. Benny Kayang. Doesn't get much better than that, John, does it? Uh, uh, how many people can you say have got a street named after him? No, he's a giant. He's a giant of staring. There is a, a slight question mark over his temperament um, because he does tend to um, court controversy and uh, only last year he got involved in an altercation at a petrol station with, um, with somebody over some um, unleaded petrol or something. I don't know what, what the details were, but he hit somebody and uh, quite hard apparently. And uh, the man needed stitches and his, his jaw rewiring. But anyway, uh, Benny's done his time for that. He, um, he actually gave stare-out lessons to street children in Santiago by way of a punishment there. So um, there's a silver lining in every cloud, John. Today's match officials, Ken Todd and Brian Featherhead. I think it's worth mentioning, John, that uh, Kayang is still the holder of the world record for the longest period without blinking. Two days, 10 hours, 56 minutes and 45.89 seconds. Oh, it's me. A real marathon session, that. Must have been pretty hard to get the edited highlights out of it, too. <laughs> um, but that's actually very different from staring, isn't it? Yes. If you've just joined us, you're watching the 43rd World Stare-Out Championship Finals. <laughs> They're all set for Anan Nanak against England's John Duran. It's impossible not to comment on Duran's unusual style. Well, all I can say is that Duran is never an easy draw for any of the favourites. I mean, he's a real battler and... Uh, OK, he may not have as much natural ability as some of the bigger names, but who knows what can happen. It's really is tremendous stuff. Well, much has been written about Duran not being taken seriously because of his style and always being in the shadow of Britain's number one, Andrew Dudley. But at 32, Duran is the first Briton to reach this stage of the championship since 1993. He apparently goes out in the town with Danny Baker and uh, Chris Evans and Gazza. I wonder who pays for the first round of drinks in that quarter. Interesting variation, almost disappeared under the table. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. Let's have a look at this. There's the angle, 32 degrees, and he drops. He drops. And that is, well, according to that, 37 degrees. That's quite a drop. That's five degrees. Well, who says staring isn't exciting? 